Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about fact families. You might remember that in a fact family, there are three numbers. There are two smaller numbers and one larger number. For this fact family house, I am going to do 9, 7, and 2. You can see that these two bottom numbers are much smaller than our top number. Our top number is always going to be our biggest number. Okay, let's make some equations. First, we have an addition equation. When we add the two smaller numbers, we will get the larger number at the top. So first we're going to write 7 plus 2 equals 9. For our next addition equation, we are going to flip these two numbers. So we're going to start with 2 plus 7 equals 9. Now, remember 9 is our larger number. Whenever we are subtracting, we always start with the largest number because we can't take 9 away from 7. So we always want to make sure we start with this top number. Remember, in a fact family, we only use these three numbers. Okay, so let's start our subtraction equation with the 9. 9 minus 7 equals, hmm, what number would go here? We've used the 9 and we've used the 7. What number is left? 2. 9 minus 7 equals 2. Do you remember which number is going to go here? Which number goes in the front of a subtraction equation? If you said 9, you're right. Now, for this last subtraction equation, I am going to flip these two numbers. So instead of saying 9 minus 7, this time I'm going to say 9 minus 2. What number would go here? I've used the 9 and I've used the 2, so what's left? If you said the 7, you're right. Great job! Now we can look at fact families in a different way. This is a fact family house, but we're going to take a look at a fact triangle next. A fact triangle works exactly the same as a fact family house. For this one, we are going to do 8, 6, and 2. Remember, 8 is on the top because it's the largest number in our fact family. 6 and 2, when we add them together, give us 8. Okay, are we ready to start? Let's do our first addition equation. We're going to use our two add-ins down here at the bottom, our two smaller numbers. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Do you remember what we did with the fact family house? We flipped these two numbers. So let's try that again. 2 plus 6 equals, hmm, what's the largest number in this fact family? The largest number in this fact family is 8. Now we're going to look at our subtraction equations. Do you remember which number goes on the front of a subtraction equation when we're doing a fact family? If you said 8, you were correct. Great job! 8 goes in the front of the subtraction equation. Now let's do 8 minus 6. Hmm, if I'm doing 8 minus 6, what number is left? Yep, you're right, it's 2. Now, let's write our last subtraction equation. Again, I'm starting with 8. Why am I starting with 8 in the subtraction equations of this fact family? 
I'm starting with 8 in this subtraction equation because 8 is the largest number of this fact family. 8 minus 2 equals what? Hmm, let's take a look at which numbers I've used. I've used the 8, that's my first number. I've used the 2, which number haven't I used in this fact family? I haven't used the 6. Now let's take a look at the equations that we created with this fact family. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 2 plus 6 equals 8. 8 minus 6 equals 2. And 8 minus 2 equals 6. Remember, these numbers are all part of a fact family. Alright, it's time to go do some practice. Have a great day.